Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Angel back on a new video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And as you guys can see by today's title, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the explosive behind the back dribble move. If you don't know already, you have to have an 86 ball control and above or higher. Um, if you have it under like an 82, 83, if one of your buddies has floor general, I think you should still be able to do it. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much longer. We're gonna do this explosive behind the back. It's really overpowered. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub, comment down below any other video ideas. Uh, other than that, let's jump right into it. Alright you guys, so for this move that we have to do, the first thing that you have to do to make it really simple for you is you have to be running normally and then just flick the right stick upwards and it'll literally work every single time. So all you have to do is run, pull it up. Super, super simple. Make sure you guys learn this. It's super easy. I'm pretty sure already most of you guys already know it. Okay, but let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you have to do is learn how to do this and you have to sprint a little bit to the direction where you want the uh, to go and then you uh, rotate the um, behind the back the other way. So basically, I'll be running this way, I'll flick it behind and then I let go right there. See, if you let go too early, this will happen. If I let go right here, then I'll just stop right there. So make sure you guys go a little bit. Make sure you, right when you do this, you run a little bit and then you let go. So you see where your feet set. Uh, also to stop your player right away, you let go of every single button. So pull like that, then let go. Real quick, one more example. Run, pull up, and let go. See where you see the problem is uh, if you don't do it right, uh, your guy will do like a crossover. Run a little and then let go. And then the perfect thing is right whenever you kind of understand where your player lands, um, you do the behind the back uh you just if you want to do the behind the back you hold r2 flick the right stick or the left stick to the right and the right stick diagonal to the uh, bottom right so you just do it behind the back and then you pull like that see sometimes that will happen um you just go like that and then you pull it um the problem with this drum move is if you do it too quick look what happened see that that move right there will happen see i'll do it real quick for you guys and then you just pull it that move right there between the legs will happen if you're pulling at the wrong time because the problem with what it has to be timing people are calling it really hard because you have to time it perfectly um because if you pull it if you do the pullback right here i'll do it right here let's do it one more time let me show you so if i was running and then i do this move and then i stop the problem with this dribble move is that you have to have perfect timing when you're doing like right there it's it's kind of dumb how they made it like right here you have to pull it right exactly when your player like stops otherwise it's not gonna like do the correct thing so like right here and then you pull it back that's the that's the only problem uh once you learn that uh, like when your player stops like right there you will get it literally every time like i said run let go and then you pull back the only problem is like i said if you're doing it too early or too late you won't do it like right there i literally did it perfectly right there like again right there and then you'll slowly get the hang of it it's really simple um like i said of course every time you won't be able to get it because this remove will literally take time to learn because you'll have to perfect it uh since it's really hard to time but that's literally the only problem this is literally the best method i found of doing it the quickest in my opinion like i said one more time you're sprinting you pull this back and then you have to run a little make sure your player stops and then pull back like that so literally all you do and if you want to do it the other way you just do it the other way again like there there you go ready for your player to stop there we go that's all you have to do guys it's really it's simple but yet it can be confusing a little bit um if you guys are having trouble please comment down below like i said most people if you're pulling it too early or too late you're probably gonna end up doing this right here that i'm gonna show you real quick uh, because this happened to me a lot right here that behind the back right there or that crossover you're not going to be end up oh look you'll pull back and your player will be doing stuff like that you'll be like dude i have the i have high enough ball control but my player's not doing the behind the back why is that it's because you guys are pulling it too early or too late uh so make sure you guys time it so right whenever you go up you let go i would do this for the first few sessions don't even try to do the drill move just pull back run a little let go and see where your player lands and next time when you guys do it like uh do it like three four times see where your player lands he lands right there and then next time you do it you could um have a good chance of doing so right there and then you pull back but my player did another crossover right there so uh that's also another thing you have to hold the ball for long enough so you go over here and then you pull back there you go 
I I did this uh, at the start and I had no idea how to do it. I was trying to do it. I spent like 20 minutes. I was like, dude, this thing is obviously not working or something going on. But yeah, that's literally all you have to do. Pull back, run a little, see where your player stops. That's all I'm saying, guys. This is the best starting tip right there. Just do that every time um, for like for like a few of the tries and then see where you're just make sure you know where your player lands and then after you've done it long enough and you know where your player lands then just try to do the right or left stick to the right right stick uh, diagonal to the right or you can do it the opposite way of course it doesn't matter um they both work literally both ways work you just gotta time it right i just haven't got used to going the other way yet uh i've mainly just got used to going this way it's just honestly i don't know just comfortable for me I recommend you guys practice it practice it I know if it gets hard and stuff then just take a break or something but it's honestly it's once you get the hang of it you already know how to do it like you'll probably mess up a few times just because you're not gonna be timing it correctly or whatnot but yeah that's pretty much the drill move I uh, hope you guys did enjoy if you guys have any questions comment them down below please I uh, will be responding to every single one of you guys if you guys want me to like personally like help you out with my court or something then comment your PlayStation username down below. Uh, we can maybe jump in a party and I could teach you the drill move a little bit better. Um, if this video was like a little confusing, uh, hopefully I explained it decently well. If I did, drop a like. If I didn't, well, I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, just comment down on your PlayStation. I'm willing to help you out personally. Uh, of course, for free because you guys are my viewers. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.